Jonathan, how are you? I'm great. So how did this opportunity come about? Did Johnny just... Coach Natson. <laughs> Coach Natson. Yeah, uh, obviously opportunity came about. Uh, me and him uh, developed a great relationship back at UCLA. And, uh, you know, I look uh, up to him as a, you know, a brother figure. And so uh, when he told me the opportunity over here, and I said, let's do it. You know, I'm uh, a loyal guy and uh, he's done a lot for my career. So here I am and I'm enjoying it. Sure. How does it help to have someone on his staff who knows his ways, his system, et cetera, as, as you're trying to kind of integrate everybody and everything? Yeah, I, I think it just helps with the process. Uh, he knows what he wants. Uh, I can say that I can kind of be on the same page with him. Uh, so installing things as far as the schematics, uh, just knowing personality and, and his culture and his vision, for me, I think it, it's a lot easier. Uh, so now you have two guys that are preaching the same message. Um, obviously, I'm just a different messenger. Same message, different messenger. What are some memorable experiences coaching against Arizona? Oh, ooh. Coaching against Arizona, um, I mean, last year, it was a, Arizona had a great team, even preparing for Arizona. Yeah, you look on film, it's a different story. Uh, you show up, and you start competing, and the plays are going, and you can tell them, oh, we're, we're going to be in for a long night. Uh, and luckily, obviously, we had some things roll our way, and from there, obviously, it kind of flipped the story from there. But just in general, you know, I think the world of, you know, the university, I remember playing back at Utah, uh, this was always a great place to come down and play at. The uh, position that Hunter Eccles is playing, I guess it's called Cat now, it's called Bruin before. Um, what are the responsibilities of, of that player? Uh, you know, rushing, playing, uh, stopping the run, rushing the passer, and then every now and then he'll get out into the flats or he'll have some type of uh, drop coverage responsibility. How's Hunter? Awesome. Love it. Love it. You know, I think uh, the relationship with him and uh, Coach Nansen back at USC uh, was a big deal, obviously, for him to come over here. And then at the same time, I think Coach Nansen uh, did a really good job of training him back there. And Hunter going through the process, uh, obviously, with the previous coaches, uh, then the coaching change, and then coming back and reuniting with Coach Nansen. Uh, you can see his development, not only as a player, but as a, as a person. What was game plan against Jetfish you just didn't know what you were going to expect. Uh, you see one thing on film, and you're going to get something else. Uh, so throughout the course of the game, you're going to have to make quick decisions on how can we adjust to what he's trying to do. So uh, Jalen Harris, I think he's had five minutes before. But you're scared of probably as many position coaches as well. Is it difficult at all when you come into a situation like that, knowing that the player has had any number of different coaches, heard so many different philosophies, and you're trying to, you know, that's something new. Well, I, I think for the players, they just want stability. They want to be great. They want to be coached. And I think they're just looking for a coach to believe in them and to get them in the, you know, headed in the right direction. So uh, it's unfortunate, obviously, for his career with the coaching changes. You know, I just try to give my best to, you know, uh, my focus and attention to those individuals, try to help them out, send them out on, you know, on a, on a good note. Uh, you know, whether he makes it into the NFL, great. If he doesn't, at least he finished out on a positive note and having a great experience here uh, at, Arizona, at Arizona. Did you recruit his brother? I did. I did, yeah. And so I had familiarity with the family prior to obviously coming here, and I knew of the, uh, you know, the Harris family. Jason, obviously he's like six, seven. He's got the long arms that you want. What are you saying in terms of his progress? Uh, you know, for those, in the floor, especially for Jason, just uh, physicality-wise, uh, you know, in terms of strength upper body strength, lower body strength. I think he has a lot of tools uh, in the pass rush game that can make him really, really good. Uh, but, you know, bottom line, you, you have to get in the weight room, get bigger, faster, stronger. How would you, how would you uh, describe your connections in the Polynesian community when it comes to hitting the recruiting trail and trying to get some of those kids? I would say good. You know, uh, obviously my parents, uh, they'd moved and migrated from the uh, island of Tonga in the early 70s. Um, I had older brothers who obviously played the game of football, and uh, I'm the youngest of eight. Uh, there were six boys that played football, and the, obviously the older brother, the two oldest brothers played at BYU, and then the four younger brothers, we all played at Utah. So as far as just leaving a legacy behind, whether it's my father, my older brothers, they did a great job of just doing the right things all the time, and just whether it was helping people, serving people, elevating people, inspiring people, they, they made my job a lot easier. Uh, so as far as just helping the community, the Polynesian community, uh, I feel like they did a good job. And so for me, it's a lot easier for me. The, the name uh, obviously goes a long ways, and 
it's easier for me to go out there with the last name. A lot of competition amongst the brothers growing up. Oh, always, always. I was the last one, you know, the last one of the family. So luckily, mom had my back and she uh, saved all the food for me. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it.